Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci with Gus and Show Associates. I want to talk to you about student loans on a FHA loan versus a um, conventional loan versus a VA loan. So at surface value, um, if there's a payment on your credit report for conventional, they'll go off that payment. If it's VA, they're going to take 5% of the total student loan debt divided by 12 months and they're gonna hit you for that monthly. And with FHA, they're gonna hit you for 1%. So that's the standard view, but there's lots of quirks to that. So let's start with the conventional. Now, if conventional, if it runs to zero payments, then they'll revert to 1%. So if there's no payments on at all on there, they'll hit for 1%. Unless you can prove that you have an IBR payment, that you've talked to the student loan company, you got an IBR payment, and the IBR payment is zero, they'll use the zero. If it's $10 a month, they'll use that. So conventional will use IBR payments. If, they, if, if, there's no, if there's no payment there, call the student loan company, ask for IBRs, get a new payment plan, and they'll go off that. FHA will do an extended standard repayment program, which is about 0.6%. Instead of the 1% they're going to hit you, it's about 0.6 of it, and you can use that payment plan. And with VA, if you can get deferred for 12 months post-closing, so if you close on November 30th and you give them deferred till December 2nd of next year, they won't hit the student loans against you at all. So that's how you get rid of those three student loans, uh, high debts, by IBR for conventional, extend the standard for FHA, and get it deferred for 12 months for VA. Give me a call. I'm a special at the 630-915-7550. Thanks.